Hi everyone, welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku. Today is Thursday, actually Wednesday, May 22nd. I also need to do the Thursday one, but anyway, uh, one in rows one and two places a one in two spots in row three, but it can't go here because of the one in column four, so one in box two is now placed. It goes there. And I can put a five in one of those two. That's all I get for the top rows, I think. The middle rows, I'm going to get a three in there. That's it. Bottom rows, there's seven. I think that's all I get. No, I can place a six in one of those two. Ooh, ah. I meant to put it in as corner marks. And then on the right, on the... Um... On the leftmost columns, two is there someplace. Six, three, one, five, seven. Otherwise, I'm done. Uh, one, eight, seven, three. Oh, I can place a seven. One of these two. I think that's all I get. The other one, seven, three, nine, eight, six. Five, okay. Six is there in column eight. Five is forced to be here. Oh. Well, actually, no. Those two fives force it right here. This five doesn't do me any good, though, as far as follow-on that I can see. Okay, so now we have to start looking by columns. Um, I need a one in column seven, but I can't go here because of the one in box three, or here because of the one in row seven, so it must go there. So... Those cells are 2, 4, and 8 in some fashion. That's anything. That's 2, 8, and 4. And this is 2 or 8, but not 4. So I'm left with this configuration, which I can't really do anything with. Excuse me. <clears throat> okay, row three. I have one, two, three, five, seven. I need four, six, eight, nine. Those two can be any of the digits. This one can't be four or eight. This one can't be six or eight. That doesn't tell me anything useful other than eight is in one of those two. In box one, row three. Okay, one and seven can't go here. So one and seven occupy two of those three cells specifically. No. Okay, one is strictly limited to here because it can't go there. Why don't I... 3, 5, 8, 9, I need 1, 2, 4, 6, 7. 2, 4, but not 6. This is 2, 4, but not 6. This can't be 1, 6, or 7, so that's 2 or 4 explicitly. This can't be 1 or 7 and 1 twice. Yeah, you know, I've got six there, and if you hear a lot of jingling in the background, that's my dog running around, burning off some energy. Okay, row seven, I have one, five, six, seven. I need two, three, four, eight, nine. This can't be two or three. Uh, this can't be three. This can't be four. Or eight, and that's not eight. That's any of them, isn't it? Oofta. Okay, this can't be five. Oh, yeah, we've already determined five can only go in there. Okay, so what can those five cells be? Not three or four.
This seeks one, five, six by row and eight by column. Okay, let's all see one, five, six, and that sees seven. That sees one, five, six, the same reasoning. And it also sees seven. That just sees one and seven, which doesn't help me, and that sees one and eight, which, as you may have guessed, doesn't help me much. All right, what are these cells? They can't be 1567. Neither are 4, and this is an 8. Okay, I've got 4 in an offset pair like that, which does me no good whatsoever. Uh, these cells are not 156 for box 9. That's 7 and 8. That's 8 and 2. That's... 8 and 2, and that's not 7. With 7 being there, I have no help. And see, these cells aren't 1, 3, 7. That's 5, 9. And then the evens to choose from. I have nothing useful there, do I? Let's see, these cells aren't 1, 2, 5. Not 3, not 6. Not 6. Not 6, not 3. These aren't 3, 8, 9. Keep not seeing one and seven. Okay, that's three fourths of a. Oh, actually, that's helpful because this is a two, four, five, six quad. Here, if you can, if you look at row five, one and seven can only appear in those two cells. So, that's not a two or four. That's not four or five. And that needs a different color because I can't see it. Do light blue or something. So, 2, 4, 5, 6 quad here. So, that leaves row 5 reduced to a 1, 7 parent, so that's done. Okay. Those cells can't be 2, 6, 7 in box 7. These both see 8. That sees 5 and 1 by column. Just sees one, that sees one and three, that sees one and five. Okay, so one can't go here. Actually, these two ones force it there, which I should have seen earlier. So seven and one are placed. This is row five. Let's see, these aren't seven. Uh, that doesn't help me much. So, uh, oh, those must be five. This, this one and this one can't be five by row and column, row seven, column three, respectively. So five is there in row eight, therefore it must be here in row nine. Now, these cells are not one, seven, or eight in box number eight. I don't have much help there. Those aren't one, seven, or eight either. Okay, I've got nothing useful there, and these cells... Okay, well, these cells are not 1, 5, 7, so they are 3, 9 from the odd digits. And then the evens to play with, that's not 8, that's not 3, that's not 4. Those cells, which are my last ones to fill in the grid, are not 3, 5, 7. So these are 1, 9. 
and then 2, 4, 6, 8 to play with. Now, this one and that one force a 1 and 1 of those two. This can't be 1, so that one must be at the bottom center of box 4, and therefore those are not 1. This cell is neither 2 nor 6. I'm going to 4, 8, 9 here. There's another cell that's a 4, 8, 9, but not interacting with this one in the bottom left of box 4. Okay. Let's see here. These two 7s mean 7 is forced there, which again tells me something I don't... Yeah, this is one of those tell-me-something-you-don't-know moments. Uh, like... Where exactly does 3 go in row 2? It can't go here because of the 3 in column 7, or there because of those 3s in box 2, here because of the 3 in column 2, so 3 in row 2 is placed right there. So, that's not 3. That's not 3. Um, 3 is now forcing one of those 2 in row 1, box 3. I've got a perfect 4, 5, 8, 9 quad left in column 1. That does not resolve anything useful. Three's here in column 3. We knew that. Ah, uh, let's see here. Uh, hmm. Okay, row seven is a perfect quintuple. Okay, uh, did I fill out too much? Maybe. Eight's there, and then I'll move eight again. Okay, I've got an X-wing on sevens and row columns one and two. Or two and four, rather. Uh, oh, seven's there. This is going to end up as six or seven, I think. I don't think that can be anything else. Seven's forced here, but three and two and four and along with 9, or box 9, 7 are the only, is only restricted digit. Yeah, if we said those are 5, then these can't be. I have 4 in an offset pair there. left. Yeah, I hate to start thinking about actually this can't be eight because of that. This can't be eight because of an eight in the box. So eight in row four is restricted strictly to one of those cells. So eight's there. This cell therefore cannot be eight. This cell can't be eight in an eight either. So that's down to 4 or 9. This is down to 8 or 9. Yeah, 
three is there, nothing else is three. Five is here, nothing else is five. I got nothing else to go with. Oh, well, I, okay, this can't be five. Because the place five. These can't be five, because of the given five in column three. Five, therefore, must be in one of those two cells in box four. Crucially, that cell isn't five. I was in one of these, but we knew that already. Yeah, I'm going to have to identify digits by crossing them. There's a 4-9 and there's a 4-9, but they don't interact. This is here, nothing else is 6. 7 is here, nothing else is 7. 5 is there, nothing else is 5. I hate to start bifurcating, but... This is 4, that doesn't lead to anything useful. This is 9, that might lead to something useful. Let's try something. This cell here is a 9. The bottom left of box 4, then that's an 8. see if I get anything out of it. None of those are 9. This isn't 9. That's not 8. These aren't 9. This is neither 8 nor 9. Eight in column 1 means that's a 2. Therefore these aren't 2. This is an 8. 3, 9 means that's not 9, and therefore that's a 4. That's an 8. That's a 4. These two are not 4. These two aren't 4 either, and I've got three different 6, 9s in row 3. So this cell cannot be 9 is what we've proven by contradiction. Therefore, this cell must be a 4. Everything else is correct. So, none of that backwards L shape is a 4. Those are not 4. These aren't 4. That leaves 4 in one of those two. Row 4, box 6, that one's not 4. As a result, I'm left with 5, 8, 9 in column 1. And nothing else to go with it, really. Three here does nothing. Two here does nothing. Eight here. Again, does nothing, and five there, we've already discerned it. I want this cell to not be an eight. And then I'd have two, six, nine, and that would go a long way to filling out column three, but I'm not there yet.
four, five, and six are occupying three of those four cells. And the one that isn't is likely, but not definitively proven, to be three or nine. be a logical deduction I can make somewhere. But the 7 in row 2 crosses a region, and that bothers me. This isn't seven. <sighs> hmm. Three's there and nothing else in the box or rows of three. Four is here and nothing else in the box is a four. Seven's here, nothing else is seven. Five is there, nothing else is five. Here, I'm down to seven. Removed eight. Which is removed. Box four has a two. There with nothing else in it. Five and eight here with nothing else in it. Five has a five. Nine's one of these. Eight is one of those. And I can't claim nine there. Oofta. Nine, unfortunately, could be there. Box six has four, six, seven. All limited, but the digit two is not. Box seven has some fives here. Three's there, and nothing else in the box or the row is a five. Box eight has a four there, which drives me nuts. Five here, which looks correct. Six there, which looks correct. Box nine, three, eight, nine, along with four and two, all have multiple things in them. seven or two of those cells. That doesn't help me any. Oh, well, wait a minute. Okay, these can't be four because of that. And only that could be four. Along with those. That bothers me. I think I've done all I can. Am I down to brute force at this point? I might be. I almost have to start with one of those pairs of digits. Let me say this digit, which I'll make brown, for conjecture, is a 2. So, 
this is 4, this is 6, that's a 7. None of those cells were 2. And these aren't 6, and neither is that. Okay, that says this isn't 7, therefore that one is. The 7 in box 9 is allegedly placed. Neither of those are 2 or 4. And this obviously isn't 2. That leaves column 9. Is a 3, 8, 9, triple. Column 8 is 2, 3, 4, 9. 7 is a 2, 4, 8. This is 3, 6, 8, 9 with no easy way to distinguish. That's 2, 4, 5, and 6 as we've already seen. This is 2, 5, 8, 9 again as we've already seen. Bottom rows have had no help, have they? <sighs> Top rows, I don't think I've gone at all towards figuring this out, because 9 could still be in 3 spots in box 3. This is annoying. This is very annoying. But neither of those could be 5 or 7. I still haven't figured out the X-Wing on 7s on columns 2 and 4. Okay, I need to make this cell a conjecture cell. This is 9. It would try faster. That's 6. That's 3. These aren't 6. These aren't 9. Ends up as two, five, eight, and therefore that's six, that's nine. These aren't six. This ends up as two, four, five in the same box. But those aren't nine. This now can't be three. This ends up as six, eight, that's a two, four, five triple. This can't be six, therefore that one is. That's not 9. The only space left for 6 in box 1 is here. Therefore, that's 7. This is a 2. 8 and 6 are placed. This is forced to be a 9. That's an 8. This is 5. That's 7. This is 4. There's nothing left. That's a 5. 2, 4. It's a 3, this can't be 4 or 5, that's a 9, 2, 5, okay, neither of those are 4, neither of these are 9, 3, 4, 8, triple, and column 3 makes that 2, 5 and 8 are done here, this can't be 2 or 8, that's a 4, 9, 8, this is 4 speed 9. That's a 3, 2, 4. This should finish. This is one I feel like I can improve on. I basically had to just guess at pairs of digits and prove two different contradictions and figure out where I go from there. That was tough.